be very excited about getting Brandon Kinsler. You know Mike Rizzo is very excited. He's been working very hard to kind of retool the bullpen. What's the reaction now that you get to finally meet him? Well, he's probably going to be needed today, Byron, after the Nationals' bullpen had to work eight innings yesterday, or seven innings, rather. Um, you know, this is a big pickup for this Nationals club, a guy who was closing in Minnesota, has come a long way over the course of his career. And let's take a look at Brandon Kinsler's journey to where he's at now. 33-year-old right-hander from Las Vegas. A late draft pick, 40th round by the Padres way back in 2004. Played independent ball a handful of years ago. Had knee surgery a few years ago. And has worked his way up to not only a closing position, but an all-star game. He was here in Miami just a couple weeks ago, selected to his first all-star game. And there you see his numbers over the last couple of years. 45 saves and a sub-3 ERA that he's racked up for Minnesota. So this is a big pickup for this Nationals club because it adds another weapon late in innings. Mike Rizzo wanted to shorten the game. Add another arm that he could count on in those 7th, 8th, ninth innings. We'll see how it all shakes out in terms of roles. But someone that Dusty Baker could call upon to close down a game in a big situation. And so Brandon Kinsler gets added to that group that includes Sean Doolittle and Ryan Madsen, who came aboard in the trade with the A's. Now, how did Brandon Kinsler find out about his trade to the Nationals? Well, he was trying to take his mind off all the uncertainty that comes with a trade deadline. So he was with his wife in San Diego on a safari of sorts. And he got a call, and he talks about it here with us earlier today. Well, I knew it would be a crazy day with rumors spreading around. I, last year I went through that. I had a lot of anxiety through that. So I figured today I'm just going to try to get away from everything. And if it happens, it happens. So we went to a safari zoo, me and my wife. And um, at the time, I just happened to be feeding a rhino. I never fed a rhino before, but it worked out. And phone started ringing. I saw a Minnesota number, and I was 101. I said, oh, this is either good or bad, so we'll see what happens. So... Here we are. We're in first place now. <laughs> yeah. How do you how do you react to that going from a team that you know really wasn't in contention for the yeah. postseason to now a team that's in first place and has very lofty goals for where they want to go? Well, one, it's a it's an honor for someone to even want to trade for you. I mean, two years ago I couldn't get a job in minor, for a minor league job. So then all of a sudden someone wants to trade for you. I definitely don't take it for granted. Uh, I love the guys in Minnesota. Those guys are grinding. Definitely mixed emotions. They gave me every opportunity to succeed and. Uh, they gave me a stepping stone to be in first place, to be in a, in a pennant race, which, uh, which is what we all play for. I'm not getting any younger. Just turned 33 yesterday, so uh, definitely excited for it. So Brandon Kinsler is closed. He's set up in the past. He's worked pretty much every role that you could ask for out of the bullpen and asked if he had had a conversation with Dusty Baker about how he might be utilized here in D.C. He said that he had and that... The Nationals have told him any time after the fifth inning is when he could be called upon. So that doesn't really narrow it down a ton. But Dusty and Mike Rizzo, again, have said that they'll see over these next couple months how they want to let those last few innings of a ball game sort themselves out. They'll determine it based on role, upon situation, all that stuff. Brandon Kinsler has handled pretty much everything, and now he's going to get thrown into the fire in a pennant race. And he's very excited about it. Byron says he's thrilled to have the opportunity now to win a World Series here with these Nationals. All right, that's Dan. That's so great to have an all-star here with the Nationals again.